Our main focus today is gonna be front split mobility. So hip flexors, quads, hamstrings, and it's gonna be really active. Um, so we wanna make sure that we warm up those muscles really well before we go too deep into these movements. Excellent. And with our lunge, not too particular on form here. Just wanna make sure the chest is fairly upright, that we're not using our hands to push off our legs, right? We want the legs to be doing the work here. You don't have to go all the way down to the floor like our ashes. If you're able to get into that range of motion, great. If not, doesn't matter. We're just moving. We're just warming up. Good, good. Let's take a couple more reps here. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. We're going to take it into some Cossacks. So you're going to take the legs a little bit wider, um, quite a bit wider than shoulder width. Both heels on the ground. You're going to go as low as you can into one side, all the way up into the center, as low as you can to the other side. And go for it. Nice. How low you go is really just going to depend on your mobility. Our Ash is getting pretty low into that side lunge. Your side lunge might not look like that today. That's okay. If your side lunge looks like this today, that's all good. Aim to keep the heels firmly planted on the floor. If your heel is popping up, maybe you just don't go quite so low. Good. We'll go for another 15 seconds or so. How are you feeling? You're feeling it. Don't worry, we're only doing this one time. And then we're gonna move on. Five, four, three, two and one the next one is going to be some pike walk so you're just going to kind of use whatever space you have around you in your house for this one so you're going to stand with one leg slightly in front of the other um, if you're really mobile both legs are locked hands on the ground you're going to take a double bounce step forward double bounce okay if you're pretty tight here knees can be bent as much as you need to and we want to stay low as we take those steps. So we're just gonna go for about a minute. You can take a few steps forward, then you can make your way backwards. We're just easing our way into those hamstrings and go for it. Perfect, good, good. And again, don't be afraid to bend the knees as much or as little as you need to. And this is still just a part of our warm up, guys, so don't feel like you have to go real deep into it. Um, if you are doing this after a workout, like if you've just done a leg workout, um, then you might be able to, to really get into it, but we're still just warming up, so go easy on those hammies. We're a little over halfway, got about 20 seconds to go. Good, guys, we got about 10 more seconds. Couple more reps here. Pretty heavy on the hammies. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stand up. The last warm up movement we're gonna do is one of my favorites um, for the hips and the lower body. You're gonna do standing knee circles. So you're gonna stand on one leg. This knee is gonna be bent at 90 degrees and you're just gonna take as big of a circle as you can with that leg, okay, in one direction and then you're gonna reverse it, go the other way. Go slow, get that knee as high as you can. What we're aiming for is not bending from the waist but keeping everything stable, just moving that leg, all right? We're gonna do a full minute per side and we're gonna get into our first exercise and go for it. Uh-huh, yep, you got it. Just a big circle and then reverse. Yep, and try to keep your torso upright. Yeah. And if you guys need it, if you're struggling with that balance, you can hold on to a wall or a chair. Good, yep, and try to keep the hips facing forward the whole time. Uh-huh, keep that chest up. <laughs> yeah. We're just over halfway. The balance is a part of it here. Good. 
And if you're finding that your chest is kind of moving all over the place, maybe a smaller circle, right? We only want that circle as big as we can make it without moving the torso around. You have to keep it upright, upright, upright. There you go. <laughs> Three, two, one, and rest. Good, shake out the legs a little bit. How's that feel? Oh. Yeah. All right, other side and begin. So guys, we got a couple things going on in this movement. We are working the stability of that standing leg. So if you are feeling your standing leg a lot more than the lifted leg, that's totally normal. Um, and then we're also working the mobility and the hip range of the lifted leg. Love. Yeah, that's harder on that side, yeah. And it's, that leg's gonna be a little more fatigued since you just worked it, so that makes sense. We're about halfway, guys. And again, we're only doing this one time. Good, good, good. And there's usually a spot, for most people, it's like right here, where it gets a little shaky and a little jerky. That's totally normal. Try to smooth it out as best you can. We got 10 seconds. Yep, yep, yep. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go into our first uh, mobility movement. Again, we're focusing on our front split, so we're gonna do a lot of um, active split movement. So the first one, you're gonna come into a forward fold similar to that position that you guys did in the pike walk. Um, if you're pretty tight in your hamstrings, maybe grab blocks, books, something that you can put your hands on. If you're pretty mobile, hands can be on the ground. So one leg is forward, you're gonna lift the other leg, so it's not a kick, it's a nice slow control lift and lower. As you're lifting, you also wanna actively pull your chest down over the top of the thigh. Okay, so again, not a kick, slow control lift, we're squeezing this glute, squeezing this quad, pulling yourself into that split, okay? We're gonna go for time here, about 30 seconds per side. Go ahead and set it up, guys, and begin. Yeah, that's it, good. I love the pace that we have here, nice and slow, good. And we wanna try to get that standing leg as straight as possible. Um, if you guys are feeling a lot of pressure, either in the back of the knee or up at the, the top of the hamstring, go ahead and bend that knee just a little bit to take that pressure off. Good. Let's get a couple more good reps here. Pull the chest down over the top of the thigh. Yeah, there we go. And switch sides. Let's do it on the other side. Nice work. We're doing all the hamstring things today. <laughs> and go for it. Nice. Good. And if you guys can see Arash while you're doing this, you can see how slow he's going, how intentional he's being at that end range of motion right here. He's pulling that leg up, really pulling the chest down over the top of the thigh. And you guys will probably notice one side is probably a lot easier than the other, totally normal. We typically have one side that's more flexible. Final rep here. Good, and rest. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of active compression in that split. So um, you guys are gonna go into a half split where you're gonna have one leg forward and this leg is straight and then your hips are right on top of that back knee. Then from here, either hands on the blocks or hands on the floor, we're gonna do some compression lifts. Okay, building um, strength in that range. This is a tough lift, so if you're not getting any lift at all, you're just gonna scoot your hips back towards your heels as far as you need to. You can even be all the way back here to get some lift, okay? This one we're also doing for time, 30 seconds. All right, and begin. Good. Yes, as you can tell, this is a challenging movement, and guys, you might not be getting more than an inch of lift or even that, and that's okay, right? You're not gonna get that leg unless you're really mobile, super high. It's not about the height. It's just about building that strength through the hip flexors. Last five, four, 
three, two, and rest. Good. Other side. On this side. Ready? And begin. Good. You guys are going to feel this a lot um, in the hip flexor, right? The top of the hip, the quad, your abs. Good, good, good. 15, we're halfway. This is brutal. It's harder than it looks. And again, if you're really not getting any lift at all, you can move your hips back towards your heels as much as you need to. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew, good work. All right. Round two, same thing. We're going into those standing split lifts. Same thing we did before. All right, choose a side. We're going for 30 seconds, guys, and begin. You've done this once already. We're on round two. Let's see if we can get a little bit more range here, right? Really pulling that chest over the top of the thigh, pulling that back leg as high as you can. Good, good, good. Yes, last rep here. Well done, good job, other side. And begin. Good. All these things, guys, they are harder than they look. Mobility training is tough, right? <laughs> right? I am definitely guilty of uh, taking the attitude of like, oh, it's just a mobility class. It'll be relaxing. It'll be, you know, chill. Uh, it's, it's usually not. Yeah. <laughs>